Hi everyone, welcome. This is Cheryl from A Penchant for the Past. Um, today I will be sharing my design team project for September. But first I want to thank Karen and Emily for the invitation to join the Graphics Fairy Junk Journal design team. I have been a member of their premium membership site for years, so it was truly touching and an honor to receive an invitation. So let's take a look at my September project. For this journal I used a farmhouse theme and the inspiration came from this antique grain sack that I bought and this antique photo. I thought the two of them together made a perfect farm theme journal cover. So the the grain sack was very soiled in places and so this was the best piece out of the bag and so I did launder it before I glued it down to the book cover but as you can see there are definitely lots of stains and stuff but to me this just adds character and for most of my journals I usually intentionally add stains to the book covers anyways. Um, here you can see I've added some vintage lace on the front and this is a clipping from an antique garment and it still has the original button and I've just added a little rusty safety pin to it. And then here you have an antique button too with the original threads and I've added a number three because that's my favorite number and I just put some layers of Mod Podge over it to, to protect it. The photo I've went over with um, some wax. It's a wax for, for like chalk paint, but it protects the image from any water damage. And I've added the word farm over the top of some burlap. I've added a sari silk ribbon with the antique key on the end for a bookmark. And on the edge, you can see I've added some antique lace to the front and to the back cover. And I've added a jute twine closure to it. It is a little big, so it's kind of nice to be able to tie it closed when it's not in use. Let's take a look inside. The front cover I've put an antique lace pocket and inside this is a antique reprint of a document I have in my personal collection and I've tied it with some black wax string and I've added a turkey feather that I've added a writing nib to the end and wrapped it with some wire. And inside this lace pocket, I've included a, a small little envelope that I've been aged up and added some antique lace to. This journal has four signatures and on the beginning of each signature, I've added a grain sack tab. And each signature has a farm theme type image on the front. So let's go into the first signature. This image here or ephemera piece I got from the premium membership site and I printed it out on crumpled coffee stained paper and it was from like a dairy farm and it was dated, the original was dated 1885. And then I've added some aged scrapbook paper and some tracing paper. And I've added quite a bit of vintage um, book pages too. This one is a cookbook and some antique ledger pages. And this piece is an ephemera piece that was from the membership site too. It's a, for a receipt for bed curtains and window curtains, but I've sewn it onto some aged paper.
paper. I thought it was a nice addition to this journal. Um, here we have a antique calling card. And I just made this little tuck and it kind of holds the, the doily down. Here I've added a belly band to the dictionary page. And this is just a fold out that you can do some journaling on. The dictionary pages that I have in here are from the early 1920s. Oh, and here is a printable that I got from the membership site. It was it had a bunch of like farm theme tags and circles and stuff. So I uh, included a couple of those in here, and I've used one of their images on this little glassy bag and I've made two other little ephemera pieces that tuck nicely in there and throughout the journal I've done some digital stamping I used Pick Monkey to do it um, but I've, I've incorporated a bunch of different farm animals and I got all of them from the premium membership site too but I printed them all out on um, crink, you know, crumpled coffee stained paper. And here I made a little tuck and these are little journaling cards that I made from a, it was a, I believe it was like a Sears and Roebuck catalog, but it had like three columns and I cut each of the columns out and made these little journal cards. There's some more scrapbooking paper that I aged up some antique music paper and these are two antique items a little garment tag and a ticket and and this came from that printable from the from the membership site again another one of those journaling tags i've added some washi tape to it made a little tuck i've added some little flower cutouts to the center of each signature this is a ephemera piece that I got from the from the membership site. It was original was dated 1883. It was kind of a farm theme receipt, butter, flour, and cheese. So I attached it to some aged paper and deckled the edge and inked it up. Oh, here's another one of those tags from, from the site, and I just put it on some lined paper add some journaling space, some antique music again. This is another one of the ephemera pieces from the site. This one had to do with dairy, so I've added it to some handmade aged paper. This is a antique French seed pack label. I just made a tuck with that. that this is the other side of the glassine bag. So I just glued it down, added some fabric and some lace trim to it. Here I've just added a, a, you know, some aged paper so you can do some journaling on that dictionary page. And again on the back, doily. And here's another one of the images that I used from the website. And here we have some ledger, cookbook paper, and here I've used a CD envelope that I aged up and then, then printed out one of my photographs on some handmade paper. It just slides in there nicely. You could always add your own photo to it, but here's the beginning of the second signature and I've did a little collage with an antique photo. It's a farm scene, and then I put farm folks layered over just some burlap. Here we have some vintage gardening book page. And this page is really grunged up, wrinkled and coffee stained. Added some washi, washi tape that had some antique script on it. And here's just a, a journaling card I made. That was from a digital kit that I had purchased. Here is 
some more of the ledger. And this is a sheet graphic that I got. And what, what's great is they were ping files so you can scale them and do overlays to your page. Here is a, another one of those French seed packet labels. I've added a couple rusty paper clips, but to protect the images and the page, I just added another piece of paper so it wouldn't scratch or stain, leave rust stains. Here's an antique music page again. Just made a couple other, well, I guess this is an ephemera piece that I made from an image that I have and backed it onto some aged paper. Another one of those French seed packet labels. And some beautiful scrapbook paper that I aged up. Here is a 1902 medical ledger page and I just attached it with some washi tape so you can remove it if, if, if you'd like. Here is another graphic. It's of a pig. I love that. And again, added some little flower cutouts to the ends of the signature thread. This is a ephemera piece that I had in my personal collection that I attached some aged handmade paper. thought it made a cute little journaling card. This is definitely a writing journal. There's, you know, lots of blank space, not overly um, embellished. I made two little washing machine ephemera pieces as journaling cards. I imagine back in those days, women were hoping they didn't have to use the washboard anymore, so I thought that was fitting that the lady of the house would have it tucked in her journal. This is more of that antique music paper. Just made a little journaling spot with some of that scrapbook paper. This is a, a reprint from a, a cabinet card that I have in my collection and the original full-size versions on the back. And this just makes a little tuck. Some more primitively <laughs> aged up paper. This is from one of my um, school books. I think from either the late 1800s, but it set the dinner horn and it had a nice farm house theme to it. So some ledger, some more aged up paper. It's the back side of the botanical page. Here I've made a tuck spot with one of the catalog columns, and here I've used two um, blank index cards that I've layered up with some fabric and lace and titled them Ideas and Notes. And then here is a ephemera piece that I got from the membership site. It was for from like a pub or a restaurant. And so I thought that was great for journaling. And then I've added a belly band that I embellished with some lace. Here we have a horse etching that was from the early 1800s that I scaled down to embellish this signature cover. Some more of that tr tracing paper and botanical more of the aged up scrapbook paper. Here is a, another ephemera piece I got from the site. It had a bunch of animals on it and I don't know if it's like a 4-H diploma but I thought it made a, a nice journaling card for this farm themed journal. A little area to journal on on that dictionary page. That one I left blank. You could gesso over it to add more space or add a photo. Here is a, another one of the graphics that I've scaled down and put on the page. Here's another ephemera piece that I printed from the side. It is a writing academy advertisement. And then again, another horse image I've added to the page. 
And here we have some antique botanical page and a railroad log page. And both are attached by washi tape so you could remove them if you'd like. Little flip up with a writing hidden writing space behind. And another writing space. I attached it to the botanical page because I wanted the, the botanical page to be peeking through the, the tracing paper. And here I have made a little journaling card from my 1853 Farmer's Almanac and put it on, sewn it onto some aged paper. So just tucked it behind this belly band. And this is another fun image it's of a family sitting in their front yard on chairs. I think I got this from Nick the Booksmith's digital kit. But I thought it was fitting for this journal. Some more of the doily that I aged up. Some nicely stained scrapbooking paper. Some more tracing paper here. I've just added a piece of paper that I've sewn and then I glued it down on this dictionary page. I just love scissor images on this page. Here I've added some vintage pieces. It's a receipt and a game card and I've just tucked it behind this little tag. Again here's a wonderful cow graphics that I've added to the page. And this was one of the graphics fairy eight and a half by eleven pages that you could print out so it's great for adding you know full pages into your journals. This one had skeleton keys on it so I printed it out on to some coffee stained paper and I thought it was a nice addition to the journal and here I've added some kids paper that I aged up a little bit here just added a little bit of some of that washi tape with some script on it. Here is another cow image I've added and here I just added those flower cutouts, another little tuck, and another one of those antique French seed packet labels, and a rusty paper clip. Here I've added one of my antique photos. I reprinted it on some photo paper that's like cardstock, and added it to some aged paper. For added journaling space. Here's some of the antique music, ledger, back side of those skeleton key page. And here I've added some scrapbooking paper and just some coffee dyed paper. I've deckled the edges and inked it up. Some tracing. And here is a reprint from my antique cabinet card. And here is the back cover. I ended up adding another one of those lace pockets and here I've added a family record ephemera piece that I've sewn onto lined paper. And then here is a family tree. And both of these I got from the membership site but I thought these went well with this journal. I'm sure every family had those tucked away in their in their journals. So the, there we have it. Really appreciate you taking the time to check out my September junk journal. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I will see you next month. Take care. Bye.